the first topic on my list here, I'm going to start with Prime Inc. lease is not a scam. Prime is not forcing you into any lease. You read the contract, you sign the contract. Um, every detail that people say is a scam is in the contract. The most I made so far after expenses was like $4,100 in one week. Hey, what is up, Slime Pack Pack Nation? Um, all last week, y'all, I was on full speed. I didn't just give y'all a video Monday, not just Tuesday, not just Wednesday, but I also gave y'all a video Thursday and Friday. So this week, I'm going to kind of tone it down just a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit more sitting down, talking videos. People been requesting, like, uh, put more trip planning in the videos, more explaining on how to do this. And I'm going to try to do that. But I really don't make my videos to be like me trying to teach you something or show you how to do something. I'm just showing you, how can I put it? I'm just showing you my journey and the way that I'm doing things out here. I'm not saying that everything I do is the right way or everything I do is the best way. I'm just showing you how I do it. So let's go ahead and jump into the topic of this video. But before we do... Make sure y'all go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and turn that bell on so you can get notified every single time I post. A lot of times YouTube don't be sending out notifications every time I post, but I usually post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And whenever I'm going to post a video every week, I usually say that throughout the videos before that week comes. So let's jump into it. So I got my notes wrote down because a lot of times whenever I do videos like this, I be forgetting to say stuff. So I'm going to be constantly looking down at my phone and looking back up at y'all so I don't forget stuff. But I want to go ahead and get this out of the way. A lot of people ask, is Prime Inc. a good company to work for? I try to say this every time. Prime is what you make it. Um, just because a person say Prime is a good company to work for, it may not be a good company for you. Or somebody may say, no, it's a bad company, but you end up coming to Prime and it's a good company. I feel like Prime is whatever you make it. I just feel like no matter how good a company pays you, no matter, you know, how good how good of home time they get you, there's always going to be a kind to every company. There is, no per there is no perfect company out there. So from my perspective and from my experience, Prime is a good company to work for from my experience now. So don't just come to Prime and then you have a bad experience and then blaming it on me because I said it was good. I'm telling you from my experience. Okay, so I want to go ahead and start with my list. And I'm going to say that Prime Inc.'s lease is not a scam. Prime is not forcing you to lease. Prime asks you, do you want to go company or lease? You made that decision for yourself. You read the contract. You sign the contract. Um every detail that people say is a scam is in the contract so if you didn't read the contract and you signed it to agree to those things and then later on you find out oh they scamming me i didn't know about this like for an example even though you go home that truck payment is still due every week in your contract it states that i mean it's not a scam if Prime is telling you everything before you jump into it. Now, business partner. Uh, your fleet manager is your business partner. My fleet manager, my fleet manager, he he the GOAT. He the truth. He understands like how I want my truck to run. He understands how I take my home time. Um, he understands like I'm willing to roll. As long as, as long as it makes sense, I'm willing to roll. I haven't felt the need to decline a load yet. Every load that he suggested me, it has been good profit so far. Home time, I get asked, how often do you go home? Me, I go home about every, I think every four weeks. I go home for about four days. Yeah, I go home for about four to five days. Um, I never have an issue with getting home. I'll usually let my dispatcher know like two weeks beforehand. Look, I want to be home such and such to such and such. 
every time I've took him home time, he's got me home the day before the date that I request and a load right there on the day that I want to leave right back out. And every load that I went back out on, I still come out and make a profit. Whenever I come back out on the road after my home time, I'm never in a hole. Now, money, 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 money. Everybody love to hear about the money. Um, every week, your check is not the same. You do not bring home the same every week. But I can say I have not made less than $1,800 in a week. That's after all the expenses. And the most I made so far after expenses was like $4,100 in one week. When I tell y'all I was floating, I did. I split my clock every day that whole week. I mean, I was rolling. So $4,100 was the most I made in one week. And... 1800 was the lowest I've made since leasing with Prime. Whenever you start leasing, you have to like, especially at the TNT, you have to transform your minds. Like, you're not running for the miles. You're running for revenue now. So it's like, a lot of times you'll look at a low and say, oh, that ain't many miles. I ain't making that much money. But then, at the end of the week, all of that adds up. And it's like, wow, I only ran this amount of miles and I made that much so yeah whenever you leasing you look at it by revenue not the miles so I want to pause the video right here and I forgot to record this part but um let's say you come into prime to lease and you have like no history of leasing or none of that with a trucking business prime literally sets you up with everything you need to succeed now if you fail I feel like it's on your part. Prime, um, if you don't know how to fuel efficiently, Prime sends you fuel recommendations. Prime sends you fuel routes. Um, Prime helps you set up your LLC. It's a lot of stuff that Prime provides for you to help you be a successful business owner up under them. So I think I basically touched on all the main topics that I wanted to touch on really basically the main topic is that everybody asks but at the end of the day prime leasing has been a good choice for me it has been good profit for me good business decisions for me i will make a video on like how my business is going i may do that this week yeah so i don't know this full week may just be sit down videos i ain't sure yet i still got some more content that i gotta edit and post but yeah so far prime ink leasing has been good i see a lot of stuff on the prime ink groups where people just complaining 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 um people just having so many bad weeks so many issues with their fleet managers and you know i ain't trying to curse myself but i'm good over here you know you could believe me or not believe me i really don't care I'm doing real good and I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of my business. I do feel like I have more room to grow and I can improve in certain areas, but so far we good. Um, do I plan on training? Mm -mm. I do not plan on training. Uh, I honestly feel like, you know, I don't feel like I should be out here training nobody because, you know, I'm still new myself. I, I know a lot of stuff, but I still need more experience out here by myself. But I don't think I would ever train. If I was to ever train, it would be maybe because, let's say my brother come over here and I train him. But anybody else, I no offense to nobody, but Norman, I don't know how you did it, man, but... I just can't do it. I like I like running by myself. Like me, when I run, I run hard. When I get in here and I start my clock, like right now, I'm literally waiting on my hours to come back. I got 19 minutes. Soon as that junk say like, you know, duration 10 hours or all your hours come back, boom, I'm going on duty pre-trip. Like I just don't want nobody holding me back. When I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. I don't like doing all these unnecessary stoppings. Whenever I start my clock and I 
start driving, I don't like to stop until like maybe seven hours. And then that's only because I got to take my 30 minute break. If I'm stopping before then, it's because I got to get fuel or I got to get a trailer wash out or something like that. Other than that, uh, I don't really be doing all this sightseeing. I think I did enough sightseeing in TNT. Like, especially the major stuff. I didn't really see everything. Other than that, I'm on full go. I'm out here running. So, thank y'all for watching this video. I will be doing more sit-down videos this week, like I said. Also, more, you know, exciting content. I may do a video every day this week. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, leave a comment down below. If you got anything to ask me, email me at slimepack392 at gmail. And I will see y'all on the next video.